I have an unboxing. I bought some lighting from Op7. Uh, it's supposed to be a whole interior kit for my truck. Uh, lighting wise, now I did do a lot of LED upgrades in that tr truck already. Um, but I bought, they're pretty cheap. So the bulbs keep burning out. Um, I've had a flicker issue after a month of use or so. So we're gonna open this guy up. I packed it pretty well. Okay. Take that away. Tech support card. More up seven. Ten percent off. Little coupon thing. Some more of their information. equipment. I do want to try their headlight kit. Got wheel lighting, uh, HID kits and ballast, interior lighting, underbody kits, more interior packages, daytime running lights. This is what I have. This is what I bought. Interior package. But not for an M3. <laughs> not for a BMW. Let's see. Let's just put my shipping card. Alright, looks like you got all lights in static bags, which is good. And I bought them all in white. I wanted white lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty of lighting here, so just gonna get some of these open here. So this is supposed to be a six SMD board. All right, so this looks like this is my interior overhead light. So this is the adapter for the long bulb style. And this is the adapter if you had a T10 socket. So that's nice. They give you option. They give you both. Okay, so. Yeah. I won't know which. I won't, I won't know what every bulb does yet until I go to put them in. I know that one's my overhead though. These guys. Okay, these I believe are the sides for my overheads uh, in my, my center dome light. My center dome light has three bulbs. That's the center, left and right. So, 
I mean, this is a pretty big kit. I mean, we paid right around fourteen dollars for them all. I mean, it's a pretty big kit. So I'm gonna get them all opened up. Alright, we got them all open now. It looks like they gave me a lot of replacements for this style for my overheads. Uh, I haven't gone through the whole truck and the lighting yet. I have not replaced every light in here. But I mean, I have two centers for the dome. I have six sides. I'm gonna start. I just had this one off not that long ago. Pop. There we go. There we go. Now we're gonna pull these guys out. There's my flick ratio. Yeah, sometimes it, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. We're just going to make sure we get on the metal. I don't want to break the glass, but I definitely don't want to grab that ball by hand right now. I should have just turned the overheads off, but. that ball cool for a minute. All right, now I got all that out. I'm take this here here. So I have a connection issue with either, oh no, alright, so we'll set that up in there, and then we'll chop out the other two. Now the LEDs are positive negative sensitive, so if it don't work one way, put it in the other. Oh yeah, I gotta turn the sides on. I'm an idiot. There we go. Now. Yep. Alright, so for whatever reason, these boards are actually a hair too big to fit between my prongs. I mean, they're a good eighth of an inch for that to fit all the way in. So I'm gonna have to spread my connections out, but we'll get it to where we'll get her in there. All right, so we got that one in. She's working. We're just gonna now we gotta do the other one. What we're gonna do is what I have to do is get right in here, bend the whole connection back just a little bit. We only need to go about a sixteenth of an inch or so each side. Oh, I must have a little shy on that one. Okay.
Boom. All right. So we'll get it all buttoned up. Both of them in there. I think I'm better than the originals. Let me still got that guy there. He's pretty bright. Now, because I have some, I can put two of my side markers. Um, I'll put one in each door. Uh, my door lenses are actually, I'm missing the lens. Yeah, I got to get new ones of those soon. And I think that'll be it for my interior. Uh, I do have a lot of extra. Um, the kit did was pretty big, so what I have is a lot of replacements for that. So now I have um, one replacement for each one of my overheads. And then I have, let's say I'm going to use two of these in the side markers. So I will have four extras. And then only time can tell about how long these will last. Um, maybe I can find a way to get them to work in my Banks gauges. Um, using, maybe I can make a socket adapter or something. We'll see what happens. Until next time.